Hello my Aries friends. This is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> Let's see what love messages we get for you guys for the second half of the month. I'm not ready yet, but flip three cards flipped over. This is your card right here. We have a full energy, just ready to step out on faith, ready to start something new here. And then we have the world energy, having learned a lesson. You know, after the world comes a fool, the world is the last card in a tarot. So you guys have learned valuable, hard lessons though, okay? And it's propelling you forward with this energy of, of knowing that from now on, I will not repeat the same mistakes again. All right. And if I need to, I will take a time out to rethink things. Sorry, guys. To rethink things and, and, and not move too fast. Okay, not overthink things because with the four of swords, it's like, you know, you know what it feels like to be heartbroken. You know that. But now it's like, even if things are not going your way, sometimes you know that it's just best to kind of take a woosa moment and really clear your head so you can think clearly. Okay, so that is the overall energy for you guys that I'm getting for you. Okay, and not just for the month of June, but in general, you guys have really, really grown and come a long way. But you've gone through some really tough experiences to get where you are. Let me turn this volume down while I'm thinking about it. Sorry. Um, yeah, you've gone through some really tough things, though. You know, c coming to this point has not been an easy task for you. Let's see. What energy is around my Aries currently? The Eight of Wands. I feel like you guys are definitely making some forward movement. I feel like there's been communication between you and someone else. Um, a lot of attractive energy between the two of you um, this is excited energy Sagittarius energy ready to move forward ready to continue on this positive road that you guys are finding yourselves on currently here let's see what's crossing my Aries the four of cups this is for you not to get too comfortable in your emotions, not to be complacent, okay? I feel like also there may be a cancer that is around you that has been comfortable for a while. Maybe you guys have awoken something in this person where they were stagnant for a while and weren't affected by anybody else until you came along, okay? Let's see what the underlying issue is here. What is the underlying issue for my Aries? The Ten of Wands. I feel like you guys currently are feeling like, you know, where well, you're the one that's putting in all the work right now because this person is, is being very complacent, okay? You feel like they're not giving you what you, giving you all of them. Because I really don't see that there is a, um, a real issue currently I feel like this person is probably sort of like you with the four of swords energy they they are just comfortable but there's something that is awakening something in them I feel right now it's taking a lot of effort I feel for you to pull them out of their comfort zone but I feel you guys are getting tired that is the thing Okay, you're wanting to see them put forth a little more effort. And then that Four of Swords comes up again, flips over here. But now it's with the King of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Chariot. Huh. You know there's something special here. There's something special between you and this person. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you really not trying to let their, um, their not really lack, but uh, how they're behaving right now affect you mentally, okay? You're really trying to think things through here. But here, 
I know that a lot of you guys can feel that there's something different with this person. Cancer's very strong here. Um, there's something different with this person. I feel like they are kind of sort of pushing the buck though because I see you with your back turned. It's like, you know, if they don't get with the program, then I mean, you know, even though we have something, I feel something very special here, I'm going to have to turn my back because I cannot stay in this place of um, complacency, reluctancy, somebody not not giving me what I feel like I need and want at this point in time. So um, right now it's not, you know, I saw the Queen of Cups under there too as I was putting these cards back. So strong cancer energy is present in your reading, but um, it, it, right now you're being patient is what I'm feeling. You're being patient. You're trying to be patient with this person, which is um, <laughs> saying a lot for Aries. Okay, let's see. In the recent past, we have the moon, another cancer energy here. Whew. There's something very unclear about what's going on with this person, but at the same time, I feel like you guys have a lot of feelings for this person. Even if you just met this person, um, this person may have some mommy issues as well, but I feel like in this situation, this person really wants to be here. And I feel like they're communicating to you that they want to be here. But for some reason, they're coming across as um, like they're not really that open emotionally. But I think there's a lot that you still don't know about this person that you may find out. Okay, let's see what your crowning thoughts are. The Eight of Cups, again, with that King of Wands I saw with this back to the Six of Cups. It's like you're, you're thinking to yourself, you know, well, yeah, you know, I, I feel like this could be a different kind of relationship, dis different situation with this person. But at the same time, if they don't get with the program, this is what you're prepared to do. It's like, you know, you're, you're full here. You know, the, the emotions are culminating and coming to a point where it's like, it's all or nothing. Either this person's going to be in and give more effort, double this Four of Cups, and come, you know, the way that you need for them to come, or you guys are preparing to walk away. That's what you're thinking about. You're preparing to walk away. You've offered your love to this person. You know that there's something different with them, between you and them. It's just a feeling that you have inside, but it's like, are they going to offer that cup to me? Are they going to really show me that they are um, in this emotionally? Are they in this to win it? Let's see. They need to show you some shit now is what I'm getting you because you it's like you're getting tired. What's coming in for my Aries? Page of Pentacles. This is something significant. I feel like um, what's happening is that this person is has probably been hurt before and they probably have gone through a lot like you guys have before in the past so they are really not trying to um i feel move things along too quickly because they they want this to last is what i'm getting here somebody wants this to last we have the page of pentacles this is very grounded stable energy here Okay, but it's a page though. It's not a knight. It's not a king. It's not a queen. So this is new energy, but stable nevertheless. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's see how you guys are feeling about this situation. It's the high priest says you're using your intuition. There's something about this person. There's definitely something about this person um, that you can't quite put your finger on. Okay, you're using your intuition though because you feel it energetically. You feel it. You guys may have been sharing dreams together between the two of you. You guys may be daydreaming about each other, thinking about each other a whole lot. This right here is a shared energy. So if you're feeling like this person does not care about the situation as much as you do, that's not the case. That is not the case. It's just the way that they're coming across because they, like you, have been hurt. Okay. Let's see. 
what is the influence for my Aries? Look at that. Two cards here. I see the chariot. Ooh, look at you know what? If this ain't cancer, for a lot of you, strong cancer in your reading. You know, this Queen of Cups always has her hand over the cup because this Queen is almost like, it's almost like the Queen of Swords, okay? This is somebody that has been, I feel, hurt before. Still very loving, still able to offer emotions. This person just is not wearing their heart on their sleeve. Okay, this person has a contingency plan, I always say, because for her or him to offer their emotions fully, they have to see the same coming from the other person. If they see the same coming from the other person, they'll take that hand off their cup and they'll, off their, they'll extend it fully. And guess what? There's a chariot. This is a successful love story. This is a very successful love story. This is a strong connection, you guys. Strong Cancer in your reading. Cancer, I feel Gemini energy. Um, Pisces, Sagittarius is here. Strongly. Let's see what your hopes or fears are. Hopes or fears. Oh, okay. Hopes or fears. Five of Cups. I'm feeling that you guys don't want to have any regrets about this situation. And I feel like that is why you're not um, you're not just counting this person out. You're not counting this person out. Um, I feel like they're doing things that make you uncomfortable, though. You know, as far as like their, um, the way they offer themselves to you, or the way that they are not fully offering themselves to you. So you don't want to have any regrets about the decisions that you make um, as far as the situation is concerned here. You don't want to be all in emotionally and then this person is not. Or you don't want to be, um, you know, thinking that this person does not care or does not want what you want, and they do. So it's like, you're considering this carefully, okay? That Six of Cups energy um, that showed up is this being more than just a love story. This is, this is something that is way, you guys connect on a soul level here, okay? Let's see what the overall is for my Aries. Look at this, a Six of Pentacles. Hmm. An equal exchange of time, energy. Reciprocation. Okay, that's what this is. Um, but there, there's something here that feels like you guys may feel like this person does not have enough time for you or maybe they are actually dating someone else even um that's not apparent to me that this person is actually dating someone else could be but i definitely see that this person um wants to spend a lot of time with you there is definitely something between the two of you that is beyond just um you know just love feelings there's something that this person feels is real with you and you them so I don't know if this is a situation where you guys have just started dating or what but um, there's definitely something here there's something here between you and this person so um, now we have Taurus energy present Scorpio alright guys so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now